I'm just gonna put this segment in, into the video that like right this second. Uh, this has kind of like some stuff that I don't like saying on, on the internet. So like, um, if you're like weirded out by shit, I don't suggest watching the rest of this video. What a terrible introduction. What, uh, what's up YouTube? Holy shit. Um, eggs and also a new video. This one's gonna be a little different. It's already really fucking weird and I, uh, did not really have time to plan this out because I've been procrastinating making this video. Um, so I needed to hurry up and just get it out of the way and just fucking put something together. So that's part of the reason why this video is going to be kind of weird and different from my other videos. So let's jump right to it right after I, uh, walk my roommate's dog because I completely forgot to do that. Okay, after another bowl of cereal and grabbing some water and shit, I am finally ready to do this shit. Actually, I'm really not. I don't even really feel like doing that. This. So, it's probably the perfect time to do it because I don't feel like doing it. Anyways, so I have a lot of uh, informal stuff to tell y'all since I've been absent for such um, a long time now. Probably a couple months. I don't remember what my when my last video was, but it was the Mac Miller video, but um... Pretty much, I filmed some stuff in late September, and I'm not really sure how I'm gonna put all of this together, um, because it's kind of weird and there's dates all over the place anyways. Late September, some things started happening to me, and um, I filmed it, and I never put it out. So, um, I'm gonna get out my handy dandy little MacBook and we're gonna watch this video um, that I've been kind of cropping cropping out. It was an hour long but I managed to get it down to 15 minutes so I'm sorry about the uh, time of the video if it's really long but okay uh, real quick I just wanted to say before we get into this that these are broken down into segments and this first clip is on September 23rd and I will catch up with everything that happens after this, um, I'll, I mean, fuck, I, I will, I will let y'all know what else has been going on all through October into November, where we are today. Today is the, is the, it's the 9th, it's the 9th of November at al almost 10 p.m. Um, on a Friday. Little, little update, um, today, what is today? It is... Uh, September 23rd so I have this like journal but this is like my to-do list slash uh, I don't know I wake up every morning um, it's September 23rd did I already say that We're making this video I'm not I'm probably not going to post it until a certain time because I just don't feel like it's the right time to be posting this so if I ever decide to post this hi from September 23rd of 2018 I've got a really long time clean now from drugs and alcohol or anything mind altering alcohol meth ritalin weed uh any, just anything really anything mind altering um for uh it's almost nine months so i'm coming up on a year this is the longest i've ever had as far as clean time goes ever or not ever but like in the past seven years in the past seven years, I've never had this long of a clean time. As far as working my ass off every single day and it getting boring and having to do the same thing every single day on top of the real estate, like those two two things alone are stressing me out. But then I've got things that are on the outside that I'm having to deal with as well. Just like everyday life shit and, you know, people and like, just, there's just a lot going on, you know. I'm so stressed out that I've really been... Yeah, so I was actually legitimately stressed out. Um, 
just because I had these like these these nagging thoughts which which I'm about to get into yeah and then on top of those nagging thoughts what I had said was freaking stressing me out too I was in a position where I was let's just here I'm so stressed out that I've really been considering um like relapsing honestly like the feelings those the, those types of feelings are coming up like again like i said i i've never had this this long this this amount of clean time you know and this is around the time that i would relapse or you know i've had probably six months okay yeah that's that's right i for the past seven eight years i've actually never gotten through holiday season without relapsing or being on drugs. I don't know what it is about the, you know, October, November, and December, but I've always, the past six or seven years, been using those those three months. So what I'm talking about right here is just in, important because I've never, I've never gone, gone through this, this time without having used fucking meth um ever since i found out what it was so you know i've had probably six months before clean and that's generally around the time i'm just like fuck this i can't i can't i don't want to deal with life or whatever you know and that's usually when i end up relapsing so like and i've got like eight or nine months right now and i'm just like fucking i can't stop thinking about using you know, it really sucks. It's like the feelings that come up are sure addicts and alcoholics can relate. You know, after you have a good amount of clean time, you think you're good and like you just kind of nibble at the thought of using, you know, those thoughts expand, you know, they, they end up like just torturing your thoughts, you know, and they you end up feeling those feelings that you used to feel when using. It's like, you know, like that that euphoria that fucking dopamine rush you know like you legitimately like get that by just thinking of it and you're just like fuck i wish i had this you know i work the 12 steps you know like in recovery or whatever and it says to meditate and pray and talk to your sponsor when these types of things happen and you know it's like i do and it's just like it's not going away you know yeah this is gonna be the part where i kind of drop a hint if I had talked to someone or had been doing anything about it then what is coming up would not have happened so but at the same time it does help you know um, it works if you work it as the AA book says you know and obviously I'm still clean and it does, and it is working and just like talking like I am right now to to the vlog and to the to the videos is helping with the situation but that doesn't mean it's gonna go away it just means it's gonna help it you know you take it one day at a time Sometimes an hour at a time, sometimes one minute at a time, you know, but. Uh, hi, what's up guys? It is, uh, it is, uh, it is, uh, it is, uh, it's September 25th, and, uh, ever since my, my video that I made, not the, this one, but the one before it, obviously, um, clip-wise or whatever, um, obviously, um, I've kind of been in the mindset of wanting to relapse, pretty much. Um, and, you know, I just, I pray about it, and I meditate over it, and, you know, I really don't want to talk to anyone about it, because I almost feel as if I'm set on it, and, like, it would, it would ruin the opportunity for me to relapse if I told anyone. How fucked up is that of me to say? Like, that... But realistically, that's just how we addicts and alcoholics think. And uh, for the most part, how just normal people probably think about things, too. Um, and not even about drugs, just about anything, really. That's another thing I've been debating over, too, is just, like, recovery, you know? AA, the AA book and everything, like... Yeah, the whole debate over um, recovery and just being sober and how to go about being sober and everything, I will get into at the end of the video. That's important, too. Like, debating. Um, 
like the AA book and the NA book and all of the recovery based programs and shit because obviously they were created by human beings that make mistakes too and you know the the programs that they uh, create and uh, manufacture and everything that people work it some people it works for them some it doesn't a big role in is that I've never never used drugs in Florida before period never used I've, I've never had a drink or I've never done a drug in, in Florida before period never used I have, I've never had a drink or I've never done a drug in, in Florida and so just that in itself keeps me from wanting to do it number two is my clean time so um, that plays a huge role because say I have uh, whatever it may be a year clean five years clean ten years clean you know if you use that's fucked you gotta start all the fucking way over like that's some real shit right there like fucking up all that time that you had kind of gets me thinking well why do so many people in recovery smoke cigarettes that makes you feel a type of way that gives you a buzz yeah like i'm still genuinely curious about about that because curious do cu cigarettes do like make you feel some type of way and it's like you're doing something you know it's like that why doesn't why isn't that brought up so like why are cigarettes any different than it than you know doesn't make any sense i feel like I'm gonna end up, I honestly feel like I'm gonna end up relapsing. I'm gonna find some sort of way to f find something and I'm gonna end up using and then feel like absolute shit and then I'm gonna wanna fucking, I'm gonna wanna fucking die or something. Hey, I do not want to die shit like that and I mean that's and then I'll end up putting this video out of all of these different types of clips you know in Texas like it was always easily accessible and I like just knew people it's like here I don't know one single fucking person it's kind of funny because like everyone I've met has been in recovery and We've all, like, had a past with drugs and everything, but, like, none of them. We're obviously, like, trying to do the opposite of doing drugs. So, like, I can't just, just like, go up to, like, one of my friends and, and, and be like, yo, do you know where to find some shit? I can't believe I'm saying what I'm saying right now. What is... What's up, guys? I always sound nerdy as shit every time I start a video. Um, and it always smells like weed in this elevator. Okay. So today is like day five or four of me wanting to be in, um, relapse mode. Today is the 26th of September. And, um, I'm, I'm still, I'm still sober. And again, I'm not really sure where the whole, um, where this relapse, uh, mindset came from. I'll explain the whole, um, mindset thing, um, and, like, where it came from, or where I think it, it came from anyways, um, at the end of this, because I can't necessarily say anything right this second without giving other shit away. I can't necessarily identify it other than I'm just depressed and really want to... I really just want to feel those feelings and um, see them through and I know that hurts to say but it just I don't know why, why I was blanking it's and I know exactly why I'm blanking it's because all I can fucking think about is relapsing can't even concentrate on any of the podcasts or books or music I'm trying to listen to all I can fucking think about is fucking relapsing and it fucking sucks because that's not where my mind should be, nor do I want it to be, um, and it just sucks. I've taken a couple of steps towards, um, going and, and relapsing, and it fucking sucks. Then why did you do it, Jake? Well, it's fucking... I don't know. It is September 27th. Uh, 2016 plus 
And uh, uh, as far as relapsing goes, I woke up actually feeling good. Still haven't used, uh, haven't made any um, attempts in that direction to relapse. But pretty much, yeah, I just kind of uh, still am hating life and I've been missing Texas so much. I just. A part of me is like, maybe I did need to get away from Texas. Obviously that was the case. I needed to get away from Texas because of all the drugs and, and people and I just needed uh, a new place to stay for a while, obviously here in Florida, you know, the past couple of years now, um, just to make it a little bit easier on me to um, stay clean. And plus the recovery here in South Florida is just way more erratic than it is um, in Texas like recovery here is all over the place you know and pretty much half of the people that live in South Florida are in recovery and so it makes a lot more sense for me to stay here you know there's not really recovery in Texas also like makes me want to go back just because I'm tired of hearing like the same shit and people come in in and out like i know that sounds probably selfish you know like there's a whole bunch of addicts and alcoholics coming into south florida to get help and shit and i should be a part of that help since i've done been through it and like no recovery and stuff um but at the same time there's always going to be addicts and alcoholics you know like in texas they don't have that as might as well go back to texas because there's none of it over there you know what i'm saying that's where they actually need it anyways I'm just I keep thinking of excuses to go back to Texas and I know that I just I don't know whether it could happen or not you know I, I make my own destiny but at the same time it's just like I've done gone to Texas and back to Florida gone to Texas back to Florida three times and I've always somehow ended up back here so like I feel like there's there's a reason I'm supposed to be here, but I don't know what the reason is, and it really fucking sucks, and I'm losing my mind trying to figure out what it is instead of it just naturally coming to me. Um, that's a huge thing, it's just I'm fucking impatient. True, still true, and uh, this is the last clip. This was on September 30th, and then we'll get into some real content after this. What did I say in the last video? I think I said it was the 27th. Maybe the 28th, I don't know. Damn, I am just completely just like losing my mind, I guess. Uh, anyways, uh, today is actually the 30th now. Um, not the 27th, the last time I filmed was the 27th. And uh, the past couple of days, some awesome shit has happened. And also I've gradually just um, continued to lose my mind a little bit and have gone through the process um, of still wanting to um, use drugs and shit since I hadn't filmed anything the past couple of days. I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to do with this anyways. It's like, I don't really want to put this whole entire like trilogy, saga, whatever you want to call it, on YouTube because it, it'd just be a whole bunch of people saying like, Oh, okay, this day, fucking, he didn't, this day he didn't, this day he didn't, he's just like, it should just be a video of me press, progressi progressively getting crazier and crazier, and then hopefully, I mean, it would, God, I pray I don't, I don't relapse, but at the same time, it's like, yes, and I really did want to, okay, so, yeah, I'm still editing all of this, so pretty much, um, that was the end of September, um, and I pretty much made it all the way through October. Pretty much I made it all the way to the middle of October, and, uh, I was trying to relapse. And this is gonna get hard, kind of, for me to talk about. Because I just feel like I'm supposed to be setting a good example for everybody, but everybody makes mistakes, and I'm definitely one of those people, so um, I'm just going to jump right into it. Pretty much what had happened was I 
started calling doctors um, to find Ritalin or Adderall or um, something stimulant related. And so I, um, I made some appointments. Uh, there was even at one point where I made an appointment and I just didn't go. I just didn't go to it, but, and I was like still strong, trying to hang in there, didn't go to it, completely skipped the appointment. It just kept nagging at me, nagging at me, um, and I ended up setting up another appointment like a week later, and this is around the time, middle of October, ended up going to see a doctor, and I didn't know this, but in the state of Florida, um, doctors and anything clinical related, they keep your files, um, as far, your medical history. And so, being here in Florida, I've been to three, de the three, sorry, three doc, f three detoxes and three rehabs here in Florida. And so, this doctor I went to go and see had all that shit on file, and I was in there trying to, like, get Ritalin or something from this doctor and try to trick him into giving it to me which I thought was gonna work because I was prescribed it back in Texas and I just had my old doctor send over a fax to this doctor saying yeah I'm actually on Ritalin or whatever um, and anyways it just did not work at all the doctor I heard the doctor laughing down the hallway coming back to and he, he's just like completely annihilated me um, and told me no, pretty much. So pretty much I reverted to finding harder drugs um, because I couldn't fucking get Ritalin or fucking anybody. And everyone that was coming up to me, because in Florida you get asked by dealers like driving by or walking into the store all the time, hey, do you party? Hey, do you party? And this is like an opiate epidemic here in Florida. No one ever has anything that I want. Um, and so that never would really work out either. So I had to revert to, I didn't have to, I chose to find meth and fuck. This is really hard to admit. Um, pretty much at this at this state, and I haven't even told you all where I'm at today, but I am at a point where I could use all of the help in the world. And uh, going back to me living in Texas, well, that's just not a good idea for me at all. Uh, so just completely fucking forget about that idea. Um, so... I'm not going to tell y'all how I found it here in Florida, um, but about two weeks later, about October 28th or 29th, I end up finding a way to get some. And let me, let me keep y'all in mind, at this point, my mindset, as far as relapsing goes, it was, hap was going to happen. Uh, I had already went to a store and bought points. Um, if you, I don't like saying the actual, the actual word, um, needles. Um, no, I ended up like, I was starting to like shoot up water for the mind, for my mind just to be at peace in like those days up until I ended up finding like it was, I just needed to clear my mind and shoot, shooting up water freaking gave me that mind rush of, oh, like, this is the procedure of doing it, or whatever. And that actually, like, satisfied me for a while. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, but I'm sure there's a lot of addicts that can, that can relate, but I was doing that up until the point where I end up finding my DOC, my drug of choice. There's a difference. There's a relapse, and there's a lapse. A relapse is a full-blown, you're out using drugs, it's like brutal, It's a may or may not be a lengthy period of time. A lapse is when you use, you, you use again, but you immediately stop. It's like it's not a full-blown relapse, it's just a lapse. So just to clarify the differences between those two, I end up lapsing. I end up like using for one night and one day. And what ended up happening is my roommate's actually in recovery as well. And uh, he could tell something was wrong. And I end up um, texting him and just being like, 
yo, yeah, I, I, I had a lapse. And that night I ended up like taking him everything that I had and he disposed of it somehow. So yeah, I, it sucks. I know it may not show on my face. It's been about a week since since all of this happened. Um, you know, I I was telling everybody I was sick. I slept it off, ate right, and then on like the fourth or fifth day, I ended up going and running to sweat it all out. And um, I just got back on track. And today, I am feeling really good, like physically. And mentally, that's that's a big part of why I wanted to make this this video is that mentally I almost feel like I'm at ease. It was a nagging thought that I had been having ever since my my last last relapse before this lapse. It's like, am I still still gonna use again? Am I still gonna use again? I just know now that I I feel like I have more control now that this has happened. You know, like. I just know that it it's going to be shitty if I end up doing it again. Just like I just needed, I feel like I just needed to see w how things would, would play out, I guess. And I didn't like it, and now I'm here. And, you know, as, as, as far as recovery goes, um, you know, like I said in, in the video, like recovery-wise, like my time, at this point, like, I had the coolest sober clean date ever. It was December 31st at 11.45 p.m. I quit right before 2018 started. So I had almost a year. Fuck. I had almost a year. I gave up an entire year of sobriety, pretty much. Um, to use again. And it sucks. If you want to look at it at a different standpoint for those that are not in recovery, um, that don't quite understand. I mean, for people, us addicts and alcoholics, like, I'm starting all the way over. Like, I only have a couple of days clean, you know? For, like, a normal person, and I see things both ways, by the way. As a normal person and as, a, as an addict and alcoholic. As, a, as, like, a normal person looking in that hasn't experienced recovery or AA or NA, whatever it may be, smart recovery, whatever the fuck. I still haven't had a drink since January 22nd. I still haven't had Ritalin or fucking blues. Like, I haven't had anything other than meth since January 22nd. So, I guess you could kind of see that as an accomplishment um, on both ends. I'm not trying to downgrade what had happened to me. Just recovery just in general um how i feel about it um i still believe that um the steps in aa uh not necessarily just just the steps that talk about um people getting a higher power and um meditating and prayer i believe if you take those three things that you can stop using drugs like period like if you have those things, um, I feel like you can do it. And, like, as far as the AA book and all of that, that shit goes, like, it works uh, for some people and it doesn't for, for others. And so, some people have... Uh, I've got friends that have gone through this and they drink and they smoke now and they're completely fine, you know? Um, so, it what it comes down to is the individual. Um period so like like i say in my other videos what works for me may not work for you and vice versa um do i believe that i am never gonna take another drink never gonna smoke a j never gonna fucking smoke meth again i i don't know i just know and this is important for everybody that today it's almost 11 p.m i i i, I did well I stayed sober. Like, I didn't do anything. I was fine. Um, what matters is today. If you're watching this, just focus on today. Focus on it hour by hour if you have to, you know? If I would have taken a drink or something today, I think I would have been fine. I was one of those people that 
would drink three beers and I don't even I hate being drunk I that's one of the least my least favorite things to feel is drunk but I was the type of people that type of person that could drink two beers and set it down there are people out there that can't set alcohol down there's alcoholics they drink gallons of this shit and they can't stop I wasn't I'm not I'm not that type of person um, which makes me question a lot of things and I'm still questioning things and that's that's where I'm at as far as recovery wise I did end up getting in a car crash um, that was probably a couple of days ago um, here's some here's a video and a picture yeah so my so my um, there was a u-haul and it came around it was doing a u-turn an illegal U-turn and my friend ran straight into him and it was a hard super hard impact I pro we both probably like got knocked out for a couple of seconds and when I came back to there was the the car was like super smoky I couldn't breathe and so I crawled out the passenger door pulled my friend out and um, we were okay my friend was a little beaten up but I was pretty much fine um, but that happened too so um, other than that, I went back to working. Everything is back to normal, pretty much, and pretty much that's 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 really it. I'm just still trucking. I'm still I'm right back. I'm back on track, and um, I just needed YouTube to. I needed. I want. I wanted to let everyone know. I guess um, just for the sake of the people that may be struggling. Or maybe going through a similar situation. So, um, don't do what I did and not talk to anyone. Go and talk to someone, whether it's your sponsor, a friend, family member, or whatever. Obviously, that wasn't the case for me. I felt as if it needed to happen. Like, I... You know, some different people have different rock bottoms. And this was just something I felt like I needed to get out of the way. And... I feel a lot better about myself now and I'm not I'm not telling you that if you feel this way to go and relapse that's not at all what I'm saying what I'm saying is that we all work in different ways and I genuinely hope this helps someone you know I don't want to come across as self 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 selfish shit I can't talk um I just like I say in all my other videos I make these videos about myself in in the hopes that it can help someone else so i love y'all sorry it took so long to make a make a video y'all know why now um you haven't subscribed you should subscribe if if you want to leave a comment on what you think about the video or if you've got anything to say say it to my face no, i'm kidding you can put it down below i'm willing to listen to to people and uh I don't give a fuck if you hit the like button. I'm just trying to help people, I guess. So, I love y'all, and until next time.